Hi, my name is Ted Massad. I'm the publicity director here at CNG Auto Sales in Tulsa, Oklahoma, where we sell natural gas vehicles. In concern with Ron Paul, I'm a registered Democrat. I voted for Obama in the last election. I really believed in change. And unfortunately, we just got a lot of the same. I really believe in what Ron Paul has uncovered in government. Uh, I don't believe in a lot of the government policies uh, concerning the Federal Reserve, uh, concerning um, uh, the war effort, well, the wars going on right now uh, that are costing us dearly. And if you just look at history, the same thing's going to happen to the United States that happened to France with the French Revolution. Uh, they spent way too much money during the time of Louis XIV, and just a couple generations later, the government toppled because of spending too much and, and borrowing too much. Uh, we've got to turn this country around, and everybody in politics, and I've visited Capitol Hill myself and been an activist with natural gas vehicle legislation, including H.R. 1380 this year with Congressman John Sullivan, and we've got to change. And that's not going to change if we keep the status quo. And that doesn't just mean Democrats and Republicans. It means everybody who's currently in power and everybody who's looking to take the, the role of the presidency with the exception of Congressman Ron Paul. He's the only man who has a different view on how to take care of business and take care of it the right way. According to the Constitution of this country, of the United States, and according to the liberty and the freedom of the people. And that's why I'm voting for Ron Paul. This is the Tulsa Flyer. It's an 800 mile natural gas vehicle that just made, a, made the historic trip from Los Angeles to Washington, D.C. Uh, this last November in 2011, uh, cross country solely on natural gas. It was only the third vehicle to ever do a trip across the United States but the first vehicle to ever be solo driven, uh, which was driven by a woman, her name is Allie McHughes. Um, in this uh, first ever historic trip, we did go to Capitol Hill and we met with government officials there, including Congressman John Sullivan, um, to promote House Resolution 18, uh, 1380, which is the Natural Gas Act. We have the technology today to be able to drive on domestic resources like natural gas. Here in Oklahoma, where we're located, natural gas only costs 78 cents per gallon, gasoline gallon equivalent to drive your vehicle. For this truck here, we're talking about four and a half cents per mile. For our Honda Civics outside on our lot here at CNG Auto Sales here in Tulsa, Oklahoma, that's only a penny and a half per mile to drive your vehicle. When we're talking about freedom, when we're talking about true American freedom, that's the freedom for you to be able to travel, the freedom for you to be able to visit your family, your friends, the ability for you to visit the United States and, and see beautiful areas all around the country. But most importantly, it's the freedom for you to be able to have a job and keep your job and be able to afford to drive to your job and back home. And that's what natural gas does for us. That's what having a domestic fuel that can power our cars that we don't have to import, like expensive foreign oil, and that we don't have to process. A lot of people don't realize that natural gas is methane. It's a natural uh, type of uh, carbon fuel that comes out of the ground. And 80% of what comes out of the ground is pure methane. 90% uh, of what goes into the tank of this vehicle is pure methane. And there's almost no type of um, no type of processing, you don't have to refine it. In many cases there are farmers and ranchers who simply are able to take it directly out of their ground and put it into their cars and drive. So I would really ask that everyone look into natural gas and natural gas vehicles as not only a way for you to save money, but a way for us to get off expensive imported foreign oil, supporting foreign dictators, uh, causing us to go out of this country and, and have wars overseas just for the rights to get access to oil, like uh, the Iraq War was. Um, and finally, take your liberty in your own hands.